The Legend of the Dragon King is a fan. The protagonist is killed by Yun Ming at the beginning, and the gears of fate rotate from then on. Death comes back to life, and the Holy Tree awakens. Holding the sickle of death, they embark on a long path of revenge Chen and transformed in death, broke through the ground, and coincidentally met Gu Yuna who planned to separate Nar's personality. He spoke out to stop it, and the two of them teamed up to embark on the path of revenge. Butterflies flapping their wings, the divine realm returns early, Slay is destroyed, Tang Men is scattered, the divine king is angry, blood and fire. The protagonist, Earth Walker, has a calm personality, not restless, not the Virgin Mary, and the female lead, Gu Yuna. Chapter 1 Chenin, The Beginning of the Great Transformation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Louver City is a small city located in the central part of the mainland, with a population of only over 100,000 in the morning, it was still clear and clear, and in the afternoon, it was covered with dark clouds and heavy rain the bustling streets quickly became empty without any pedestrians, why did it suddenly start raining? An eleven or twelve-year-old boy walked out of the shop and muttered to himself, Chenin, umbrella, the man over forty took the umbrella and handed it to the boy youth Chen and smiled and took the umbrella, looked at the sky outside, and said to the man. Uncle Wang, this rain is probably not going to stop for a while, and there aren't many people in the afternoon either. Please tidy up and close the store early to finish work. The middle-aged man couldn't help but laugh and said, if the boss finds out, it's time to scold us. Besides, don't we have to study the sole guide you designed? Seize the time to make it or sell it, I have a premonition that this sole guide will definitely sell well. Okay, Chenin didn't give much persuasion and left the shop under an umbrella walking on the open street, Chenin felt particularly quiet, giving off a feeling of peaceful time passing by a roast duck restaurant, I saw that it was not closed yet, so I went over and ordered a roast duck, add more spicy food, my sister prefers spicy food. Chen and advised the boss readily agreed that adding chili peppers was not ambiguous at all carrying the warm roasted duck, Chen leisurely returned home. He lives in a famous villa area in the city, with an independent garden covering an area of over a thousand square meters, Dad, Xiaoyan, Chen and placed the umbrella in a designated place and shouted as he took off his shoes, aren't they all at home? Chenin saw no response and began to wonder where these two people had gone placing the roast duck on the table means going back to your room and changing clothes his bedroom covers an area of nearly 100 square meters, with a wardrobe, bookshelf, independent bathroom, and wash basin Chenin took off his wet clothes and pants. Revealing his robust body he is already a young adult who will turn 12 in half a month his height of 1.75 meters, well dot defined cheeks, and delicate features all. Represent that he is no longer a child Chen and looked at herself in the mirror, without considering putting on clean clothes for a moment slowly walking towards the mirror, reaching out to touch the cheek in the mirror, feeling a bit dazed, it's almost twelve years now, Chen and couldn't help but feel emotional unconsciously, he had been in the world depicted in this novel for almost twelve years over the past twelve years. He has gradually adapted to life in this world Dolua continent. This is a world in novels where there are cultivators with special abilities that is what the world calls a soul master, which is a superior profession it's just that this profession has nothing to do with him. He doesn't have a martial soul or soul power, he's just an ordinary person no, not even ordinary people, because ordinary people can awaken their martial souls only those who awaken their martial soul and possess innate soul power can become soul masters those who lack innate soul power are called ordinary people while they not only lack martial souls but also soul power, which is too ordinary. He didn't understand this situation and after thinking for a long time, he could only attribute it to himself being a traveler he doesn't know the specific reason, just like he doesn't know how he traveled unable to figure it out, he simply didn't bother to investigate and chose to let nature take its course. It's not possible to become a soul master, and it's also good to live a peaceful life, after all, he couldn't cultivate before. There is no way to cultivate through time travel now, just like before, there is no gap. This is the world of Do San, although there may be crises such as evil soul masters committing evil and abyss attacks in the future but with the information he knows, it shouldn't be a problem for him and his family to get through safely, brother, was in his days, 
and a probing voice sounded outside the door the voice was very low, and the little girl who made the sound seemed to not want others to hear her chin and immediately regained his senses and quickly put on his clothes and pants. Before going to open the door as soon as I opened the door, I looked down and saw a little girl with two ponytails looking up at him the little girl is only six years old, with fair skin and pink jade carving, particularly cute especially those bright eyes, which look watery and pitiful at this moment, he was holding a lollipop in his mouth and his face was filled with a pure and excited smile seeing the little girl, Chenin showed a heartfelt smile and instinctively rubbed her head. Where did you go to play just now? I don't know how to take an umbrella. If you catch a cold, I won't take care of you. Chenin frowned when he saw the little girl when I casually picked up a piece of clothing from the wardrobe and gently helped the little girl wipe her hair, oh, why don't you wipe it later? I have some good news to tell you, the little girl said in a milky voice, what good news do you have? Chenin didn't take it seriously and continued to help her wipe her hair, why can't I have good news? Don't look down on people, the little girl said unhappily, ha, Chen and just smiled and didn't speak, he knew his sister too well the little girl saw Chen An's expression and angrily opened Chen An's hand, taking a few steps back one hand is inserted into the waist, and the other hand is holding a lollipop pointing to good morning, I'm serious, he said with a serious expression, puffing his cheeks in anger Chen An was amused by this little guy and said with great interest, then you can. Tell me. I want to see if you have any good news besides the news that you want to fight with other children. Chen Yen is not a calm person, greedy yet active, running around when playing with other children, conflicts and fights are inevitable for this reason, he and his father have a headache and have dealt with many fight incidents for her, listen carefully, Chen Yen raised his small head and prepared for the news he was about to announce, I go. Wake up. My martial soul has awakened, Chen Yen proudly looked at Chen An and announced word by word Chen An's nonchalant expression slightly restrained and he said with uncertainty, have you awakened your martial soul? He secretly awakened his martial soul behind his father's back, but failed, suspecting that it was hereditary if it's really genetic, then Chen Yen probably won't be able to awaken her martial soul unless she's not biological of course, the greater possibility is that I am a traveler which is quite unique it is worth mentioning that his father forbade him and Chen Yen from awakening their martial souls saying he is an ordinary person, they must be the same. Awakening the martial soul is also a waste of time rather than feeling disappointed after awakening, it's better not to go and be an ordinary person with peace of mind this is strange. Chen An has asked multiple times, but has not received an answer later on, he didn't ask again, but he didn't really listen I still secretly went to the teleportation tower in the city and woke up the result was really hit by his father, and he was greatly disappointed. If he had known, he wouldn't have gone, of course, I am a genius with innate soul power, Chen Yen boasted while holding his chest in both hands the lollipop was put back into her mouth, and the sweetness made her feel particularly good, it seems that it is indeed because I am a traveler, Chen An concluded I am a bit skeptical, shouldn't I be the one who picked it up? I still look up to my younger sister a bit, but I didn't expect her to still have innate soul power he knows enough about Dolua continent, but he knows what innate soul power means in the future, I won't say that I will become an extreme Dolua, but at least it is highly likely that I will be banned as a Dolua the new book set sail, and I hope everyone can click on, collect, and vote for recommendations. The story of this book will be very exciting, so don't miss it. Chapter 2 The Sword Soul of the Underworld King, The Evil Soul Master You are listening at NovelFull.audio You don't seem very surprised. Chen Yen couldn't satisfy Chen An's reaction, from the intelligence and talent you have shown in your daily life, I feel that you are not an ordinary person. Isn't it natural to have innate soul power? Chen An joke jokes aside, I am still very happy for my younger sister she just needs to be taught well that bullying others casually after becoming a strong person can easily lead to death Chen Yan's praise of Chen An was very helpful, release your martial soul and let me see, Chen An said, curious about what martial soul she had awakened the martial soul that can bring her innate soul should be a relatively top dot level existence. Okay, Chen Yan agreed excitedly, lifting his right hand. 
And making a forceful gesture seeing her somewhat constipated appearance, Chen'en couldn't help but feel a bit amused but soon he couldn't laugh anymore, and a grey aura emanated from Chen Yan's right hand, evil and sinister Chen En's pupils contracted, and this breath made him shudder and made him realize something was wrong Chen Yan's expression gradually became indifferent, and his face quickly turned pale this is not pale due to weakness, but rather a normal state just like when a Wolf-type martial soul owner releases their martial soul, wolf fur will appear on their body The pale color on her face was also caused by the appearance of a martial soul, which was terrifying white under Chen En's gaze, a cross-shaped sword slowly emerged from his right hand As soon as this sword appeared, the atmosphere in the room became extremely oppressive and lifeless Soon, the room will be filled with gray air, and if ordinary people were here, they would probably suffocate but Chenin is quite normal and not afraid of this deathly aura, even feeling a bit friendly. Even though he was not afraid, his heart was still beating fast now, watching the martial soul released by Chen Yen without blinking with countless thoughts, I never expected that my sister's awakened martial soul would be an evil martial soul does this mean that she will become an unforgivable evil soul master in the future. When he thinks about his sister's future, he is instinctively afraid it's not that I'm afraid she'll hurt me, but that I'm afraid she'll take that path of no return, how could you awaken the evil martial soul? Is it? Chen En's heart was shaken I vaguely understood why my father would remind them not to awaken their martial souls turns out he knew they might awaken evil martial souls, that's why he banned it, is dad a evil soul master or mom? Or are they both? Chen En couldn't help but think about this question and his mind was a bit confused for a moment his mother passed away after giving birth to Chen Yen, and now only his father is left in his memory, his mother was still relatively normal, gentle and kind, with no trace of evil. Brother, my martial soul looks good, Chen Yan's indifferent voice came in Chen and looked at Chen Yan's expressionless face and his heart sank to the bottom. The influence of this martial soul was really significant he could sense that Chen Yan's words just now had a cheerful and boastful tone but it was said to be cold and devoid of any emotion, and the stark contrast made him deeply worried if we continue to cultivate, how can we still have such a great impact after just awakening? Quickly collect the martial soul, Chen En didn't have time to study her evil martial soul, urging her Chen Yan reluctantly put away his martial soul, without knowing how to praise himself a few words after collecting the martial soul, Chen Yan slowly returned to normal and regained his former lively and childlike innocence, how many people know about your awakening of the martial soul? Chen En crouched in front of Chen Yan and asked very seriously Chen Yan was frightened by Chen En's serious demeanor and dared not playfully laugh, the person who helped me awaken my martial soul, as well as some staff members of the Spirit Tower, hurry up and tell me about your specific experience at the Spirit Pagoda, don't miss anything, you know. Chen En became more serious, oh. Chen Yan honestly recounted the story of the transmission tower because Chen En made me very nervous and didn't speak very smoothly, brother, did I make any mistakes? Chen Yan asked cautiously my eyes were already slightly red, and my little hands were twisted together, afraid of being scolded Chen En saw Chen Yan's pitiful appearance and softened himself as much as possible effortlessly squeezed out a smiling face and helped her cut her hair. No, you just awakened a martial soul and didn't bully anyone. What mistakes can you make? You may just get scolded by your dad for this, so be mentally prepared later. Chen Yen shrank his neck, noticeably afraid of his father, and looked eagerly at Chen and brother, why don't we not tell dad so that I won't be scolded? Chen and shook his head helplessly and said, this matter cannot be concealed, nor can it be concealed. I think we need to talk to dad about this matter as soon as possible, and then move. We can't stay in this place anymore. According to Chen Yan's description, the people in the spirit tower clearly knew that she had awakened an evil martial soul for the owners of evil martial souls, the federation must clean them up, ah, uh, Chen Yan was shocked and his eyes turned even redder. It was obvious that he had made a big mistake why did you suddenly have to move? At the thought of this, her tears couldn't stop falling and she regretted awakening her martial soul Chen and comforted Chen Yan while thinking of countermeasures, his heart in turmoil, Xiaowen, Yen Yen, I bought you pastries, Chen Feng opened the door and went home seeing Chen An and Chen Yan waiting for him, he smiled and handed out the pastry in his hand Chen Yan instinctively wanted to go pick him up, 
But he held back and looked at his brother beside him Chen An's expression was serious, and he looked at his father Chen Feng inexplicably, vaguely feeling that something was wrong, did you make any mistakes? Chen Feng tentatively asked, with a restrained smile on his face. Xiao Yan secretly awakened his martial soul, it was a sword with innate soul power, Chen An said Chen Feng was stunned and the pastry in his hand fell to the ground he suddenly looked at Chen Yan, who lowered his head in injustice and dared not look at his father in the eye, let me see if you release your martial soul, Chen Feng said in a deep voice, clearly angry, but suppressing it. Chen Yan followed suit and once again released the slender cross-shaped sword, is this a mutation? Chen Feng looked at the long sword and was a bit stunned, Dad, isn't your martial soul like this? Chen An asked Chen Feng shook his head and said, My martial soul is a sword, but far less powerful than Yen Yen. Should her martial soul undergo a mutation or a benign mutation? Benign mutation refers to the fact that the martial soul has become stronger, but he is not happy at all, what is my mother's martial soul? Chen An asked in response, her martial soul is also a sword, but it's just quite evil. I think Yan Yan's martial soul will be like this, it's related to your mother. However, your mother's martial soul is far less powerful than Yan Yan's. Her martial soul has mutated to be too powerful, Chen Feng said he had never revealed his martial soul to the Chen and siblings before, but now it has to be said. Knowing that Chen Yan's martial soul had become stronger, he must not be happy, but rather worried. A stronger evil martial soul, this is by no means the good thing. Chen An frowned, for some reason, he now had a feeling that Chen Yan's martial soul mutation was related to him this feeling has no basis, it's just a vague intuition, and its accuracy is difficult to confirm. Chapter 3 Emperor Ming, Arrival of Cloud Ming You are listening at NovelFull.audio now is not the time to think about these things, I think we should leave Louver City as soon as possible, Chen An said seriously I don't have the mood to ask about the stories of my dad and mom, nor do I have the time to analyze whether Chen Yan's martial soul transformation is related to me. These are no longer important the most important thing is to quickly go out and avoid the wind, so as not to be called upon. Chen Yan only awakened the evil martial soul, not the evil soul master yet but those people don't care about these. Chen Feng thought for a moment, but there was no objection. The evil martial soul with innate soul power was not a joke Chen An and Chen Feng quickly packed up their things, while Chen Yan sat on the sofa feeling a bit lost, bowing his head and feeling guilty. A family of three left Lulu City in heavy rain, cautious and afraid of being noticed in order to avoid attracting too much attention, they didn't drive and instead walked out of the city. But what they didn't know was that from the moment they left the estate, they were being followed Chen Yan's evil martial soul has indeed attracted attention, and it is also a great deal of attention that they did not expect if Chen An calms down and observes Chen Yan's martial soul more, he may remember something this sword is even more complex than he imagined. Before her, there was only one person in the world who possessed it and this person is standing at the pinnacle of this world, with few opponents in the world the most crucial thing is that at this moment, the person sensed the aura of the martial soul that kind of elusive connection made him even able to sense it from thousands of miles away five days later, in the wilderness more than 400 kilometers away from Bay City. Chen An, Chen Feng, and Chen Yan were resting against a big tree. They haven't driven or taken a car, so they need to show their ID cards and their whereabouts will be discovered. Brother, my feet hurt. Chen Yan complained to Chen An with grievances Chen An looked at his sister's pitiful appearance and quickly finished the dry food, helping her to rub her feet Chen Yan had a long lost smile on his face, eating dry cakes that he couldn't accept on a daily basis looking at the two siblings, Chen Feng smiled with relief. With such a pair of children, he didn't waste his life, big brother, why are you looking at me like this? Chen Yan's milky voice suddenly sounded, hmm. Chen An and Chen Feng both looked at Chen Yan in confusion, thinking to themselves. They were shocked to see Chen Yan looking in a direction and followed suit in that direction, just a few dozen meters away from them, there is a white-faced man his face is very white and colorless, but he is very handsome with a feminine beauty he was dressed in black armor, with a cloak on his back. 
and a soft long hair draped over his shoulders it is not difficult to tell from his attire that he is extraordinary and definitely not an ordinary person Chen Fong and Chen had not noticed. Anyone there or heard footsteps before this if it weren't for Chen Yan's words, they wouldn't have noticed this person walking over Chen and looked at this person's special face and a memory followed, causing his heart to tremble uncontrollably, this shouldn't be the Holy Spirit teaching had Rosa, as mentioned in the book. Chenin was shocked in his heart quickly, I thought of my sister's martial soul, and my guess seemed to be confirmed, how could it be that Xiaoyan's martial soul is actually the Dark King's sword? In the midst of a great shock in Chen An's heart and mind, the white-faced man slowly walked over, his gaze fixed on Chen Yan without moving away Chen An instinctively stood in front of Chen Yan, even though he knew the other party could easily kill him but as a brother, his responsibility inspired him to muster the courage to protect his sister the white-faced man only then noticed Chen An and had no reaction, completely treating him like air since you have awakened the martial soul of the underworld king sword, you are destined to be with me. Come with me. I will cultivate you into the most powerful being in this world, the white-faced man spoke, majestic and indifferent, devoid of emotions. When it comes to the martial soul of the underworld king sword, it becomes noticeably more excited and cannot be concealed I am not excited because I am about to have a successor, but because I see the hope of becoming a god as long as you can cultivate her to the limit and devour her, then you will definitely be able to take that step Chen Yan hid behind Chen An, timidly looking at the stranger and tightening his grip on Yun An's clothes. Your Excellency, why don't you leave? Chen An tried to remain calm as much as possible and mustered up a brave voice. The white-faced man paused in his footsteps, which made Chen An think that the other party was a kind person and listened to advice. But the fact is not so. The white-faced man turned around and looked behind him, and several figures rushed towards him from afar Chen An also looked at it, and with his strength, he naturally couldn't see anything but it can be guessed that there is probably something that the Dark Emperor is afraid of coming this makes him both happy and worried. The people who come here may not be able to help them even if one can really deal with the Dark Emperor, it may not necessarily not harm Chen Yan, I won't fight you guys today, the white-faced man frowned as soon as the words fell, they disappeared into place and reappeared by Chen Yan's side, what are you doing? Chen An roared, instinctively trying to stop it but the speed of Had Rosa, the Dark Emperor, cannot be compared to him as soon as he raised his hand, the Ming Emperor grabbed Chen Yan and wanted to take her away, Ha Luo Sa, since you have appeared, don't think about leaving, a strong and powerful voice came from afar along with it came an extremely terrifying aura. With a long spear flying towards them Chen An and Chen Feng both showed painful expressions, unable to breathe, as if there. Bodies were about to be crushed had Rosa, the Dark Emperor, naturally did not care about the lives of the two of them and immediately drew his sword to confront them, Yunming, haven't seen you for many years, you're still so confident. Do you really think you can keep me? Harlosa burst out laughing, wild and domineering. Facing Yunming, he lost his delicate demeanor there are only a few people in this world who are qualified to be his opponent, and Yun Ming is one of them he is still regarded as the strongest opponent by him, and his defeat back then still haunts him to this day Chen and looked at the collision of the long sword and spear with a painful expression, realizing that a great danger was imminent in the face of such a level of collision. He would never believe that there is a possibility of survival, brother, Chen Yan was held by Hirosa's hand and cried in fear Chen An's tearful face was reflected in his pupils, and at this moment, the pain pierced through his heart he hates his own weakness. If he were stronger, he could protect his sister well instead of being as powerless as they are now, the other parties just a collision aftermath is enough to kill themselves, bang, Harlosa collided with Yun Ming's attack and the violent energy remnants swept away Chen An and Chen Feng were the first to bear the brunt, with the latter's body exploding in response Chen An, on the other hand, was shaken out and his body was not broken, but he had already lost his breath, dad, brother, Chen. Yen saw this scene and his emotions collapsed, crying into tears Chen An's body flew far away and fell heavily to the ground, covered in blood my whole body was cracked with flesh and blood, but it didn't fall off, as if it was connected by some force he has lost control of his body and breath, and is now a dead person souls floated out of his body, unreal, and others couldn't even see him but he was able to see others.
Everything was so clear, no different from before today's. Chapter 4 Being Killed You are listening at NovelFull.audio Dad, Xiao Yan, Chen and hissed in agony, but his voice could only be heard by himself no one else can hear or feel his presence he is now completely a bystander, able to see and hear, but unable to do anything Harlosa and Yun Ming engaged in a fierce battle, and even the powerful title holders who followed Yun Ming dared not approach, you better put down this little girl, I don't think it's interesting to defeat you like this. Yun Ming said lightly, with a fierce attack, completely crushing Harlosa his strength was supposed to be slightly better than that of Harlosa, and now the other party is also distracted by protecting a little girl when fighting like this, there will naturally be no suspense about the outcome although he said he wanted Harlosa to put the girl down, he didn't mean to let her go himself intentionally attacking the girl, not to make Harlosa suffer as a result but he really wanted to kill her. And his personal arrival this time was to solve the owner of the underworld king sword soul a typical evil martial soul is not enough to disturb him, but the Hades sword can definitely do it he will never allow the second dark king sword evil soul master to appear in this world since it has appeared, it must be strangled in the cradle, and it must be strangled as for whether this girl will become evil when she grows up, he doesn't care and doesn't want to worry about it it can only be said. That it is better to kill by mistake than to let go Harusa's face gradually turned ugly, with no intention of continuing the battle, and he was about to flee, Harlosa, how could we make you easily escape after you finally appeared? A voice with a smile sounded, and a sword light with a powerful restraining force fell Zong Exian's heart sank as he didn't expect not only Yun Ming but also Zong Exian to come this is because I expected to be interested in the owner of the underworld king sword soul their lineup is more aimed at him than at this little girl upon seeing Zong Exian appear, Hirosa decisively dropped Chen Yen and left without killing him. Feeling lucky, I hope the other party won't kill this young girl who has not yet become an evil soul master. In this way, he will still have the opportunity to wait for it to grow and devour its essence in the future. At this point, even if he is unwilling, he must make a choice, it's really heartbreaking that the Tang Ming Emperor actually started to flee, Zong Exian sneered, Zong Exian, Yun Ming, if the mountains don't turn and the water doesn't, one day our emperor will make you pay the price. Harlosa spoke somewhat awkwardly, using all possible means to forcefully break through the encirclement of Yun Ming and Zong Exian and escape, this Harlosa is really not easy, it didn't even kill him, Zong Exian's face turned ugly Yun Ming's face didn't look very good either, and Harosa's escape strategy was indeed something he had never imagined the two slowly landed, collected their respective martial souls, and walked towards Chen Yen Chen Yen was watched by several powerful titles, each. From Shrek and Tangmen the little girl kept crying, feeling sad, scared, and her crying consciousness was about to blur Chen and soul was right next to the little girl, trying to comfort him. As a man, he had already shed tears but his comfort had no effect, and no one felt it, don't hurt my sister, don't, Chen and tried to pray as Yun Ming and Zhang Exian approached the two strong individuals standing at the peak of the mainland were also unaware of his existence, are you going to kill me? Zhang Exian felt compassion when he saw Chen Yen suffering so pitifully Chen and gave birth to a glimmer of hope, hoping that the other party could give Chen Yen a chance people who possess evil martial souls may not necessarily be evil soul masters. Chen Yen has a chance to be a good person she is still so young, she has never harmed anyone, and she may not necessarily harm anyone in the future he hopes that these two Shrek and Tang Men people can open up a side but soon his hope was dashed, his face full of despair, and his eyes turned red Yun Ming shook his head firmly and said, you don't know what the underworld king sword martial soul means. Let her grow up, maybe it's the second dark emperor, which poses a great threat to us. We must strangle her in the cradle, not hold on to luck, nor should we hold on to luck. The reason why I came personally is not only to take the opportunity to eliminate the dark emperor. I also want to completely wipe her out. It's not easy for the owner of the Dark King Sword Soul to completely kill her. I don't want her to come back to life after death, Yun Ming looked at Qin Yen with no mercy in his eyes some are just cold murderous intentions. He has killed many people in his life, 
including villains and innocent people I don't have much burden to kill a little girl now, and I even think it's appropriate Zhang Exian's gaze also became firm, expressing agreement with Yun Ming's words the other few strong account holders remained silent throughout the conversation, and these two big shots dared not interrupt casually Chen Yan had already turned into tears. Unaware that danger was about to occur she was afraid, but more sorrowful, as she watched her father and brother die with her own eyes for a six-dot-year dot old girl, this is the most terrifying thing in the world she appeared particularly weak and helpless in front of these people, thin and small. Yun Ming released his martial soul heavenly spear, lightning piercing into Chen Yan's heart, no, don't. Chen Yan's eyes were torn apart, trying to block Chen Yan's body but his body was illusory, as if it didn't exist at all, and Qing Tian rushed past to puncture it Chen Yan's crying suddenly came to an end, and his small body was pierced by the heavenly gun his expression was bewildered, and there were still tears on his face. His mouth moved as if he wanted to say something Chen and turned to look at his younger sister and saw the blood flowing from the corner of her mouth, his heart twisted like a knife he saw his sister's slightly moving lips and seemed to understand what she was saying, brother, I feel so painful. Such a familiar phrase before, every time this little girl was bullied by others, she would entrust Chu Baba to seek comfort at this point, she will transform into the king of the big stomach and ask herself to buy various snacks for her, so that her little belly can hold all of them. Chen An's illusory body twitched and his mouth was moving, wanting to speak, but he couldn't speak at all it's not that others can't hear, but that he himself has lost his language ability at this moment pain, unbearable pain, making him unable to speak or breathe in this moment, memories of the past flashed quickly at the last moment, my sister was still holding her hand, coquettishly requesting to buy this and that the next moment, her expression was frozen, forever frozen Chen and tried. Hard to reach out his hand to touch his sister, but it was almost there within reach, but with just a bang, his adorable sister exploded in front of him the blood seemed to splash onto her body, and he could feel the temperature, it was very hot his body was too hot to bear, piercing through it and melting his heart after shattering Chen Yan's body. Yun Ming reached out and restrained the origin of the underworld king sword that was about to leave take action to destroy it, cutting off. Chen Yan's last hope of resurrection after finishing all of this, Yun Ming turned around and left without looking back to days. Chapter 5 Resurrection, Nirvana Rebirth You are listening at NovelFull.audio Zhang Exian looked at the blood clots on the ground, then at the distant blood clots in the body, let's dispose of the blood clots here and the bodies over there, bury them together, it can also be considered as compensation for their family. Zhang Exian instructed that they should also leave without too much guilt, so it can only be considered that they were unlucky Chen'an, in his soul state, watched as Yun Ming and Zhang Exian left, feeling very calm calm and terrifying, when emotions such as sadness and resentment reach their extreme, all that remains is calmness he was as calm as death, with no expression on his face, and no words could express his sorrow at this moment heart-wrenching and heart-wrenching, these words all seem insufficient in degree the scene in front of Chen'an became blurred, spinning and slowly losing consciousness a Tang sect title Dolua casually curled up the blood clots on the ground with soul power after seeing a complete body, I couldn't help but feel a little surprised, strange thing, this kid's body can still be preserved intact, the person murmured to himself the body cannot be considered intact, it can only be said that it has not disintegrated but the flesh on the surface still appears blocky, blurry, and bloody this person didn't pay much attention and casually lifted the body with soul power I looked around and saw a hill, so I headed towards it a large pit was dug on the hillside, and the body and scattered flesh were thrown into it then the pit was filled and a simple tomb was formed without tombstones, he didn't know the names of these people and was too lazy to bother with them amidst the soil, Chen An's chest gradually lit up with green light, spreading throughout his body under the influence of green light, his shattered body began to heal the healed muscles contain more gray and black substances, which gradually fade away and are difficult to see with the naked eye, I don't know how long it took, but Chen and gradually became aware and had a feeling of waking up from a big dream the fatigue after a long sleep surged in, making him want to open his eyes but somewhat unable to do so it should not be said that it is impossible, but rather, that it is not he couldn't feel the presence of his body, as if he only had consciousness slowly, 
he could feel the presence of his body and his senses were restored I could vaguely hear a voice coming from above, two people talking while listening, I wanted to move my body, but it was difficult to move due to the pressure of soil he tried hard to spread the soil, and his body became hot with it it seems that some force is about to erupt and break free from his control dense scales began to appear on the surface of his skin, and his body was undergoing a dramatic transformation on the mountain cape, a beautiful girl over eight years old is talking to a middle dot aged man the slope they are on is relatively flat, with no green plants and only lust there is a place where the soil is not very tight, more than 10 meters away from where they are standing, master, do you really plan to transfer some of your consciousness to the silver dragon spear? The man in black asked seriously, but he didn't quite agree with this matter he is in his forties, tall in stature, handsome and resolute in appearance, with a strand of golden hair hanging on one side of his cheek on his forehead it is not difficult to tell from his appearance that he is the kind of person who is calm yet firm but at this moment, when facing a girl over eight years old, she appeared relatively humble master, the two simple words directly indicate their social status and status a girl over eight years old is very beautiful, with finely crafted features paired with jade-like smooth skin, it is so beautiful that even women envy it it hasn't fully grown yet, and when she truly grows up, she will surely be both beautiful and beautiful although a girl is young, her temperament is like that of an adult, noble and indifferent like a queen the girl Gu Yuna had a worried expression on her face, indecisive, and a part of her consciousness was not good for her this will divide her strength and slow down her growth rate accordingly and there may be a series of uncontrollable events that are difficult to fully predict but if we don't separate them, my palpitations towards Tang Wulin will definitely become stronger and stronger in the future, it may affect one's plan to seek revenge against humanity after a slight hesitation, Gu Yuna gradually became firm in her choice and nodded heavily, in order to complete the revenge plan without distractions, I must do so, Gu Yuna said to Emperor Tian Emperor Tian saw that Gu Yuna had made up her mind and couldn't help but sigh, knowing that no amount of persuasion would be of no use, can you help me protect the law? Gu Yuna is also a swift and decisive person since it has been decided to do so, then proceed decisively without any intention of procrastination, good Emperor Tian can only support Gu Yuna's decision, stay away and remain vigilant Gu Yuna's mind moved and a silver spear appeared in front of her, suspended in the air the length of the spear exceeds 1.2 zhang, and it is very slender, with the tip length accounting for one dot third of the entire spear on the surface of the spear, there are fine dragon scales, which are hexagonal in shape, delicate and symmetrical, and very beautiful this long spear is longer than the people of Gu Yuna, floating quietly with a sharp aura that permeates with dragon power the muscles of Emperor Tian, who had already moved away, instinctively tightened, and it was not this long spear that could threaten him but the aura above was beyond his reach, and his blood was suppressed to death Gu Yuna began to strip away some of her consciousness and transfer it to the silver dragon spear this is her companion weapon, a part of her body, and it's best to carry her consciousness just as she was about to move her hand, an energy burst out from a nearby pile of dirt this made Gu Yuna and Emperor Tian's faces change. Before they could react, the soil would explode the roar was extremely passionate and contained endless anger, and the dragon's roar sounded with killing intent Emperor Tian's heart seemed to be struck by a heavy hammer, energy surged, but his blood vessels trembled and withered this is a manifestation of his bloodline being suppressed, his black dragon bloodline being suppressed. Gu Yuna's blood vessels also showed abnormal movements, as if being moved by the roar her veins were not suppressed but they were exceptionally active and excited a lifeless dragon emerged from the ground, straight up, as if about to break through the sky Gu Yuna stopped and held a silver dragon spear, her gaze moving with the dragon's movement Emperor Tian's sudden appearance appeared in front of Gu Yuna, protecting her behind her, it was my subordinate's dereliction of duty to not have noticed in advance that there was still a hidden dragon here. Emperor Tian was full of self-blame and said that before that, he had repeatedly sensed the surroundings but I didn't notice the existence of humans or soul beasts, but now a dragon has emerged this made him quite ashamed, but he lost face in front of the Lord looking up at the sky, he was filled with killing intent towards the sudden burst of the death dragon but without direct action, there were very few soul beasts left, and dragon type soul beasts were even rarer he still doesn't want to act rashly until he understands the situation today's.
Chapter 6 Gu Yuna with Personality Splitting You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. It's okay, Gu Yuna had no intention of blaming Emperor Tian, and her attention was focused on the Grey Dragon. The abnormal changes in her internal blood vessels made her realize that this giant dragon's bloodline was definitely not simple otherwise, it would not be enough to cause her Silver Dragon King's blood to throb both of them did not attack the giant dragon in the air. Just watched quietly and remained vigilant the giant dragon flying into the air has a body length of over 10 meters, a slender posture, slightly thin wings, and little flesh he was covered in gray scales all over, like a suit of armor worn on his body on the scales, a deadly aura emanates, and wherever it passes, it swirls around, appearing eerie and terrifying, roar, roar. The gray dragon began to hover in the sky, Roaring incessantly amidst venting anger and killing intent, the powerful pressure of the dragon clan spreads wildly the dragon vented for several minutes before slowly descending and returning to the hillside Emperor Tianxia consciously wants to take action to subdue him, so as not to harm the lord but Gu Yuna stopped him and asked him to step aside and not block her line of sight as soon as the grey dragon landed, it lit up with a dazzling light, and its body shrank in the light quickly, the light flashed away, and the dragon was nowhere to be seen, replaced by a person a twelve-year-old boy, naked, propped up on the ground with one hand, kneeling on one knee the young man was breathing rapidly, his head hanging low, and this movement was maintained for a while Gu Yuna didn't disturb him and just watched quietly, avoiding important parts she didn't bother. So Emperor Tian naturally didn't want to take any action, just frowned I am trying to recall memories about the dragon race in my mind, but there seems to be no memory related to the death dragon Gu Yuna had already thought about all the dragon tribes, but couldn't find any corresponding ones that's why I was curious about the sudden emergence of dragons. As there was actually a dragon tribe that I didn't know about in this world the most crucial thing is that she tried to suppress the death dragon with her blood but the result was ineffective. Indicating that the bloodline of this lifeless dragon was not inferior to hers this discovery surprised her and made her more aware of the extraordinary nature of this dragon Chen and slowly regained his senses, and the sensation of his body made him feel like he was dreaming, am I really still alive? Chen and slowly regained consciousness and looked at himself incredulously my flesh and blood cracked body has returned to its original state, even surpassing the past blood and flesh are noticeably stronger than before, and there is still a faint flow of energy on the surface of the muscles Chin and couldn't explain this situation. Just as he couldn't figure out why he had traveled this magical thing has exceeded his understanding and is difficult to explain scientifically I can only attribute it to an inexplicable force that is affecting me, and I find it difficult to understand his idea is correct and there is indeed a force influencing him in the dark this force allowed him to travel through time and bring him back to life after death, and the gears of fate began to rotate at this moment, in a distant corner of the universe. The disappearing Dolua divine realm inexplicably breaks free from the constraints of the black hole the disappearing divine realm has begun. Its path of return, sister, dad, Chen and suddenly realized something and looked around in surprise and panic directly ignoring Gu Yuna and Emperor Tian, when he saw the pit, he went crazy and ran away seeing the empty pit, his hopes that had arisen were shattered lying there as if dead, motionless for a long time his father and sister did not miraculously come back to life like he did they are really dead. Are you okay? After some time, Gu Yuna couldn't help but speak glancing at the emperor angel beside him, the latter understood and took out a set of clothes from somewhere under the support of soul power, black clothes drifted towards Chen and upon hearing Gu Yuna's voice, Chen and slowly recovered from a state of stillness the clothes fell on him, covering him like a blanket this garment belongs to Emperor Tian and is several sizes larger than Chen and's Chen and turned to face Gu Yuna and sat on the ground, covering her body with clothes my gaze slowly fell on Gu Yuna and Emperor Tian Gu Yuna and Emperor Tian looked at him with a chilling feeling in their eyes Chen and's pupils were gray, filled with stillness, and looked very uncomfortable in that abnormal gaze, they seemed to see death hell Chen and's calm face did not match the anger and murderous emotions he had previously expressed Chen and just looked at Gu Yuna and Emperor Tian, without blinking, without saying a word though. Gray in his eyes began to fade, and his pupils became normal, 
filled with sorrow and Gu Yuna didn't know what to say for a moment, the atmosphere here was silent and oppressive just as Gu Yuna couldn't help but plan to speak, Chinan spoke first, don't separate a part of your consciousness, you will regret it. Chen En's voice was a bit hoarse, devoid of emotion, as if his words were full of lifelessness he is trying to suppress his hatred, to keep it deep in his heart, and to imprint it firmly in his heart never forget, never forget until he has killed all the people who killed them his words made Gu Yuna's eyebrows furrow and she looked at him deeply, why? Chen En looked into Gu Yuna's eyes and met her without any hesitation, saying, after separating some consciousness, you will become foolish. You are looking for death, Emperor Tian immediately became angry, allowing someone to insult his lord there. Emperor Tian, Gu Yuna spoke out to stop, her tone changed, and she was clearly a bit angry. Emperor Tian obediently did not take any action and looked at Chen and with unfriendly eyes, you need to give me an explanation, otherwise even if you are a soul beast, I will take your life. Gu Yuna looked coldly at Chen and, and being scolded like this made her feel unhappy since Chen and transformed from a dragon to a human just now, she mistakenly thought that Chen An was a transformed soul beast that is not a giant dragon that can be transformed by the true body of the martial soul it's too real, it's no different from a real dragon. He's not a dragon, what is it? It was precisely because she mistakenly thought Chen An was a dragon that she did not directly let Emperor Tian kill him Chen An's expression remained calm, not intimidated by their hostility, part of what I heard from your conversation earlier is that you need to separate your consciousness and not be influenced by the human emotions that arise. But have you ever thought about how the subject would change if you separate consciousness? If you lose a part of your consciousness, your brain won't be affected. Chen An said slowly he was heartbroken, but his mind was not bad, and even after being resurrected, he became even more sober there is a feeling of rebirth and transformation in the whole person, to the extent that he may find it difficult to imagine from their conversation just now, I guess their identities. Silver Dragon King Gu Yuna and Golden-Eyed Black Dragon Emperor Tian at this point, Gu Yuna should be trying to separate a part of her personality that is to divide oneself into Nar and Gu Yu, one to go to Shrek and the other to go to Tang Wuling's side he has a grudge against Shrek and doesn't want the Silver Dragon King to stand on Shrek's side being with Tang Wuling is no different from supporting Shrek today's. Chapter 7 Persuasion, Invitation from Gu Yuna You are listening at NovelFull.audio Gu Yuna's anger subsided and she showed a thoughtful expression. She had not even considered the issue of her brain being affected in her cognition, separating a portion of consciousness is nothing more than losing some emotions, it's just a decrease in intelligence, and the impact won't be significant, Gu Yuna said with some uncertainty, don't be so confident, and don't think everything is so simple. If you separate consciousness, it can be considered as treating the symptoms rather than the root cause, and cannot solve the fundamental problem. On the contrary, it will make the problem more and more serious, leading to many unforeseeable changes. For example, if you separate a part of your emotional consciousness and your body produces similar emotional consciousness, what should you do? Can we continue to separate some consciousness? Chen An asked expressionlessly he is very confused and completely unable to understand the series of actions of Gu Yuna in the story after the injury improved, I wanted to learn about humans, but due to the bloodline of the Golden Dragon King, I ended up getting involved although she has lived for a long time. She is just an emotional idiot and easily falls in love with someone especially for the Golden Dragon King who has bloodline attraction, it can be said that he has little resistance. Running to get in touch with Tang Wulin is like giving it away. From a god's perspective, it's very brainless she obviously didn't realize this, and even felt proud, thinking that what she did was very meaningful of course, it cannot be ruled out that the plane will invisibly influences her if that's the case, then she's being counted and her disability rating can be appropriately reduced, this. Gu Yuna fell silent, unsure of how to refute Emperor Tian quite agrees with Chen En's words, and indeed, separating a part of consciousness is to treat the symptoms rather than the root cause, master, I think what he said makes some sense. You should think about it again. If we think of other ways, there will definitely be a better solution, Emperor Tian advised after considering for a long time, Gu Yuna nodded and thought again, let me give you a suggestion. When human emotions arise, think more about what humans have done to soul beasts. 
use hatred to soothe your emotions. Over time, you may be able to eliminate those emotions. Chenin slowly stood up from the ground and said as he put on his clothes Gu Yuna's gaze slightly turned to one side, carefully considering Chen An's proposal after trying to think about the current situation of soul beasts, anger surged and the complex human emotions were really diluted she felt guilty at the thought of humans causing such harm to soul beasts. While still thinking of a human but it's really not easy for her to forget that person in a short period of time during the period when she lost consciousness, that person did leave a deep impression on her chin and put on the clothes, which were a few sizes larger and looked very loose when worn, thank you for your clothes. I will return a few pieces to you if there is a chance in the future, Chenin said to Emperor Tian after speaking, we will start pushing the soil back into the pit to restore it this can be considered the tomb of his sister and father, and he will come to pay his respects in the future Gu Yuna and Emperor Tian stood there watching, feeling the mournful emotions permeating the air, something must have happened to him. Gu Yuna was curious Chen and filled the pit with soil one by one, but in the end, he did not set up a tombstone, Xiao Yen, Dad, don't worry, I will definitely find a way to avenge this grudge. Shrek, Tang Men, and Holy Spirit Cult, these three forces have not completely disappeared from the world, and I have no face coming to see you underground. Chen and choked up as he struggled to hold back his tears and knocked three heads heavily slowly get up and walk towards the slope, not fast but firm and steady, wait, Gu Yuna said and stopped Chen and Chen and stopped and couldn't help but stop. Emperor Tian appeared in front of him at some point, is there anything wrong? Chen and turned around and looked at Gu Yuna, her face expressionless he is not afraid, having experienced death, he no longer knows what fear is, since you heard our conversation, you also know that we are actually soul beasts. You never thought about being with us. After all, you're also a soul beast. Now that we have very few soul beasts left, we should unite even more, Gu Yuna took the initiative to invite during her conversation with Emperor Tian, she inadvertently revealed her identity it was precisely because of this that she was not surprised when Chen An spoke about what humans had done to soul beasts Emperor Tian looked at Gu Yuna in surprise. Realizing that the Lord had placed the other party in the same position as her subconsciously, I felt it was inappropriate, but when I thought about the blood pressure I had just sensed, I felt a little relieved from a bloodline perspective, this dragon is barely able to converse equally with the master just, what kind of dragon race is this? He hasn't thought of any relevant information yet Chen An was taken aback, soul beast. Do they think they are soul beasts? Quickly, he thought of the scene of himself rushing out of the soil, transforming into a giant dragon this makes them mistakenly believe that they are also soul beasts. Which is understandable he only had some vague information in his mind about why he could transform into a dragon we still need to organize this information to understand the specific situation what we can know now is that we have gained power and are able to practice it's just that the power it possesses is somewhat strange and may differ from that of an ordinary soul master, what can we do with you? Chenin asked in response since the other party mistakenly thinks they are soul beasts, let them misunderstand this is not a bad thing for him, but rather it will be of some help perhaps one can use the power of soul beasts to achieve revenge, but being alone is still a bit weak. Of course, Yun Ming, Zhang Xian, and Harlosa will definitely kill them with his own hands and will not borrow the hands of others especially Yun Ming, he would use a long spear to fiercely pierce his heart, allowing him to experience the piercing pain, revenge against humanity. Nowadays, our soul beasts have declined and there are very few left, all of which are caused by humans. We must make those humans pay the most painful price, Gu Yuna said coldly, do you have a plan? Chen An asked, not yet, I haven't learned enough about humans and haven't developed a plan yet. Gu Yuna truthfully said that she was in the human world a few years ago, but something unexpected happened I didn't learn much useful information during that period, you don't need to learn about humans anymore. I've learned enough over the years. If you really want to retaliate against humanity, may I help you make a plan? Chen and Dao, let Gu Yuna understand humans, it's no different from Bai Gu, it's possible, but you need to tell me about your situation. I'm not afraid of you laughing, I still haven't figured out what kind of dragon race you are. I'm curious about your race, upbringing environment, and some of your experiences. 
Gu Yuna looked at Chen'en and said seriously, it is still necessary to touch his bottom. Today's if there are more than 10 monthly tickets per day, excluding the 6 tickets automatically gifted by the update system, an additional chapter will be added. If there are more than 50 recommended tickets, an additional chapter will be added. If there are more than 200 collected tickets, an additional chapter will be added. We hope everyone can provide more support and encourage each other. Chapter 8 The Secret of the Silver Dragon King's Transformation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chenin did not answer immediately, but pretended to seriously consider the question actually, I was thinking about how to make my soul beast fake identity sound flawless fortunately, he knew the entire Dolua story and soon knew how to fabricate it Gu Yuna did not urge, and it was normal for the other party to hesitate when asked about their identity, to be honest, I'm not actually a dragon on this continent. But it comes from another continent, which humans call the Star Land. I was born in a special small space on that continent, nurtured by special energy. To be honest, I don't even know what kind of race I am. I only know that I am a dragon, a rather special dragon, after practicing in that small space for 100,000 years, I left and came to the outside world. At that time, I planned to transform into a person for cultivation, but I encountered some accidents halfway through. Although successfully transformed into a human, there are some differences from the generalized soul beasts. Can switch between human and ontological states, Chen and combine some of his own situations to create a calendar, a special small space, what kind of small space? Gu Yuna asked subconsciously Chen and glanced at Gu Yuna but did not answer Gu Yuna saw Chen and like this and knew that it was something he didn't want to say, so she changed the topic, so how did you come from another continent to this one? She still knows about the Star Luo continent and heard of it when she was in the human world I know there is Dolua continent, Xingluo continent, and Doling continent, but I'm not very familiar with the rest, I, who failed to transform, lost all my cultivation and became a baby, being picked up by humans. They were citizens of the Sun Moon Federation who did business in the Star Luo Empire and later returned to the Federation. I came to this continent from another continent, Chen and said strive to avoid thinking about your sister and father, so as not to evoke painful memories Gu Yuna instinctively glanced at the buried pit and did not ask further obviously, the human who retrieved him has been killed he just said he wants to seek revenge from Shrek, Tang Men, and the Holy Spirit Church. Maybe that's why she can also understand Chen An's feelings after only staying in a human family for three years, I have. Developed a certain emotional connection he may have stayed for more than a decade, and this relationship will definitely be deeper than himself, and grief is normal, how much do you know about your bloodline? Gu Yuna asked again what she is truly curious about is actually the dragon bloodline of Chen and the strongest in this world is definitely the dragon god bloodline, followed by the gold and silver dragon king another is the nine dragon kings, none of these bloodlines are similar to him but his bloodline gives himself a feeling that he is no worse than himself that is to say, his bloodline is still above the nine dragon kings, at the level of gold and silver dragon kings in her memory. There were no other dragon races comparable to the bloodline of the gold and silver dragon king what kind of small space can actually breed such a level of bloodline. She was extremely curious about the mysterious little space mentioned by Chen and if possible, be sure to go somewhere and take a look, maybe it might be related to the dragon clan. I don't quite understand why I was born, and coupled with that transformation accident, it caused some of my memory loss. My memory of my own bloodline is also quite confused, so I can't answer your question temporarily. Chen Andao, now we can only push some unspeakable things onto that accident Gu Yuna and Emperor Tian exchanged a glance, both seeing disappointment in each other's eyes, do you remember where the small space was? Gu Yuna asked eagerly, I am referring to the specific location on the star continent, added a sentence, I can't remember, Chen and shook his head decisively, clearly not wanting to say anything Emperor Tian's eyes narrowed slightly and he was clearly dissatisfied with such an answer Gu Yuna was also somewhat dissatisfied, but she didn't ask after her. It's normal for the other party not to say anything, information should be exchanged, don't you plan to talk about your respective situations? I didn't hear much information just now, and I'm also curious about your background. 
Chen encountered and seized the right to speak I have a deep understanding of their situation, but I still need to ask them on the surface in this way, when interacting with them in the future, speaking about their situation won't seem strange moreover, it can also be used to see how much trust they have in themselves Gu Yuna thought for a moment and said, Do you know the Dragon God from the beginning? Dragon God There seems to be some impression in my memory, but it's very vague, Chen An said seeing that Chen An's memory was incomplete, Gu Yuna briefly explained the situation of the Dragon God when it comes to the war in the Divine Realm and the split of the Dragon God, I only start talking about my identity Chen An listened quietly, showing a hint of surprise, but not strongly he is now mentally exhausted and particularly tired, and really doesn't have much energy to act being able to show a slightly surprised expression is already considered as my best effort, but I can't do it very well when Gu Yuna talked about things after coming to this continent, she was relatively brief she has been recovering from her injuries all these years, and there's nothing to say the most talked about content is still what happened in recent years, which is what happened after her injury improved this is also the focus of Chen An's attention. Previously, his biggest doubt was that Gu Yuna had recovered from her injuries, so why bother to learn about humans? She is one of the clones of the Dragon God, and even worse, she is equivalent to an ordinary god-king taking her injuries into consideration, if we take 10,000 steps further, her strength may not be fully utilized considering various chaotic reasons, at least it has divine level strength such strength, in this era without gods, is it not reckless? Unless her mind is broken, he can't imagine why she gave up her cultivation and became a person to understand people upon hearing Gu Yuna's account, he finally understood that it was a last resort at the moment she recovered from her injury, her first thought was definitely to directly take action to exterminate humanity I also planned to do that, but before she could take action, I was threatened by the plain master if she dares to use divine power to harm humans, he will definitely take action to kill them she is not afraid of the second level god of the plain, but she is afraid of his methods of killing fish and breaking the net after all, this is the world of Dolua continent, controlled by the lord of the return plane he has the means to perish with himself at the cost of the world shattering at that time, the ruler of the plane was also quite resolute. Anyway, all humans were going to be destroyed by you, so there was no need for this world to exist Gu Yuna was somewhat cautious and didn't want to die with the other party like this compromise means that humanity will not be destroyed, but the ruler of the plane is aggressive I don't believe she will truly keep her promise, and I propose to ask her to leave Dolua world. Swearing with blood that she will never return Gu Yuna naturally refused and offered to swear that she would not destroy humanity, but would not leave the meaning is self.evident, it will not perish, but it does not mean that a part will not be killed the plain master insisted on her leaving, and both sides fell into a stalemate today's if there are more than 10 monthly tickets per day, excluding the 6 tickets automatically gifted by the update system, an additional chapter will be added. If there are more than 50 recommended tickets, an additional chapter will be added. If there are more than 200 collected tickets, an additional chapter will be added. We hope everyone can provide more support and encourage each other. Chapter 9 Calculation of the Plane Master You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the end, the Plane Master proposed a compromise solution that's a bet, we're going to have a bet with Gu Yuna. He's betting that Gu Yuna can't destroy humans by human means if he wins, Gu Yuna must leave Dolua world and swear never to return if Gu Yuna wins, the Lord of Face will not intervene and will allow her to cause trouble in this world for her own means, Gu Yuna is confident and should have made this bet so there is now a series of things that transform into humans. To understand humanity although she is now transformed into an adult, her divine level cultivation still exists it's just. In a sealed state, and it won't be lifted until the moment of life or death she has made an agreement with the plain master that she will not easily unlock her strength, otherwise she will lose, this point in the novel should be a loophole, and it is estimated that the author himself cannot explain it. But for me, this novel world has become a real existence. The development of some things also has its logic, Chenin thought Gu Yuna's statement is more logical, and her confusing behavior can also be explained Gu Yuna's intelligence is not low, but she is very simple. She was tricked by the plain master in this matter. The purpose of transforming her into a human being may be to make her return to the old path of Xiaowu. 
It may be difficult for soul beasts to fall in love with humans, but it's hard to say about transformed soul beasts. Once transformed, it feels like they're just looking for a boyfriend, and the rest is secondary. And what Gu Yuna is most likely to fall in love with is Tang Wulin, who has the bloodline of the Golden Dragon King. Their encounter and love may require a big question mark to be drawn as to whether there is an arrangement from the plain master. Do you have a place to live in the human world? If not, I'll take you to our place of residence to take a look. After Gu Yuna finished talking about her own situation, she asked for Chen An's opinion I still respect this dragon, whose bloodline is not inferior to mine after leaving the Star Forest, they also gained certain assets by selling some mineral metals in the human world, there is a place to live, and that is their resting place the Star Forest is now restricted by the Spirit Tower, making it inconvenient to enter and exit they can't go back and forth frequently, having a place to stay would be much more convenient residence. Chen En's thoughts were interrupted, his heart tightened, and a picture of his own home came to mind unconsciously, I thought of my family and quickly shook my head, suppressing these memories continuously feeling sad is a waste of time. It's better to work hard to become stronger and seek revenge as soon as possible, take me to your place of residence, Chen En said it's better for him not to return to Bay City at the moment to avoid further sadness going to stay with Gu Yuna and the others for a while may not be a good choice, but it's important to keep an eye on this romantic brain. Okay, Gu Yuna nodded and gestured to Emperor Tian, who immediately opened the spatial channel Emperor Tian is a member of the Black Dragon Clan who possesses the ultimate darkness, but his spatial skills are also very strong in this world, there are very few who dare to say that their spatial expertise is stronger than him Chin and stared at the spinning silver passage for a while. Feeling novel he has been in this world for twelve years, and it is the first time he has seen a space. Passage before entering, Chen and worked hard to remember this place so that he could come and pay respects in the future slowly followed Gu Yuna into the space passage and disappeared here Emperor Tian then entered, and after he entered, the spatial channel also disappeared the mountain slope became empty, the wind howled, and it was cold and desolate Gu Yuna and her companions are located 50.60 kilometers away from this mountain slope, in a medium dot sized city they bought an independent. Estate to live in in this city by selling underground mineral resources in the starry forest, they have accumulated a lot of wealth somewhere in the manor, a spatial passage appeared, and Chen An and Gu Yuna walked out first, followed closely by Emperor Tian Chen and scanned the surroundings and couldn't help but marvel at the miraculous movement of the space as he saw the environment undergo significant changes. There are still a few ferocious beasts living in this estate, but they were sent by me to carry out missions and are not in the estate now. When they come back, I'll introduce you to them, Gu Yuna said, well, Chen An didn't ask too much, so he could guess who those fierce beasts were Gu Yuna didn't say much when she saw that Chen An was clearly not in a good mood I brought Chen An to an empty room so he could rest Chen An thanked him and entered the room alone Gu Yuna and Emperor Tian left, whispering along the way, Lord, what do you think of Chen An? Emperor Tianyu said with deep meaning Gu Yuna glanced at Emperor Tian and understood what he wanted to say. After thinking for a moment, she said. I can be certain that he is a soul beast, which is also the key reason why I have a kind attitude towards him. Although he is not a soul beast from the Star Do Forest, he is ultimately a family of soul beasts. As long as you are willing to sincerely help us, you are your own person. You should get along as harmoniously as possible and not exclude him just because of different habitats. I dare not, Emperor Tian respectfully said, however, you also need to pay more attention and ensure that his heart does not lean towards humans. Gu Yuna changed her tone and said that she still maintained the necessary precautions against Chen and although they are all soul beasts. It is impossible to achieve absolute trust between each other especially this soul beast has been living in the human world for over a decade she cannot guarantee whether she has developed mature human emotions and cares about humanity part of the reason for this concern is that she herself has developed some human emotions moreover, 20,000 years ago, a transformed soul beast completely sided with humans 10,000 years ago, all the auspicious beasts in the Star Forest died because they fell in love with a human being she doesn't want such an example to happen again and must put an end to it, yes, Emperor Tian nodded, which was also what he wanted to express. 
He couldn't trust Chinan too much, I don't know what exactly happened to Chinan, which made his bloodline so powerful. Gu Yuna returned to her room thoughtfully, her mind full of thoughts about Chen and's bloodline in the spacious room, Chenin sat on the ground, with his back against the bed, lost in thought after sitting there for a long time, his eyes gradually became focused lift both hands one after another, trying to transfer the soul power inside the body to the right hand the muscles in the right hand tighten, and gray scales slowly appear on the surface of the skin these scales are like metal. With a hard texture and a translucent luster, very extraordinary it exudes a sense of stillness, adding a touch of coldness to the scales his gaze focused on the palm of his hand, and the expected martial soul phantom did not appear I also tried to look back, but there was no martial soul phantom, with soul power, but without martial soul. Chenin frowned slightly this situation seems to have never appeared in his memory, is it a true martial soul? As he pondered, his right arm was covered in dense scales the five fingers turned into dragon claws, expanding several times overall, hard and powerful, how could there be a dragon-like transformation of the body's martial soul? It's impossible for my body to be a dragon, right? Chenin shook his head and denied the conjecture of the main martial soul, but soon became stunned, dragon, Gu Yuna, they mistakenly thought I was a soul beast, isn't it because I became a giant dragon before? I have not reached the Seven Rings realm and cannot use my martial soul true body, but I can transform into a dragon. This is very abnormal. Is it the same as Tang Wulin's situation, with some kind of dragon's origin sealed inside my body? Or, in other words, after I was resurrected, some kind of power was activated? Chenin thought of many things for a moment. Today's if there are more than 10 monthly tickets per day, excluding the six tickets automatically gifted by the update system, an additional chapter will be added. If there are more than 50 recommended tickets, an additional chapter will be added. If there are more than 200 collected tickets, an additional chapter will be added. We hope everyone can provide more support and encourage each other. Yesterday, there was one monthly pass, over 20 recommended tickets, and over 40 collected tickets. There was no update today. Everyone can vote for more recommended tickets. Currently, it seems that this is the easiest way to meet the requirements for admission. You can also try monthly tickets. Today, a friend has already voted for two, but there are still eight tickets left. Chapter 10 Unusual Martial Souls You are listening at NovelFull.audio Various chaotic information flooded into his mind, making him feel a headache he worked hard to organize this information and slowly began to understand the situation after this resurrection, he can indeed practice there is also abundant soul power in the body, which may have reached level 10 and is at a bottleneck however, his situation is not the same as that of an ordinary soul master, and the difference is still significant Chen and began to try to summon things out of his body, and his chest lit up with green light a small tree slowly floated out of his body, emitting a rich green light Chen and looked at the small tree coming out of his body in front of him, somewhat stunned he never expected that what was inside him would be a small tree rather than saying it's a small tree. It's better to say it's a small dead branch there are ten branches extending from a main trunk without much green leaves nine out of ten branches are in a bare state without green leaves only. The bottom branch has a leaf and a fruit the leaves and fruits are both gray, emitting a dead breath which is very abnormal the leaves resemble sickles, and among the grey fruits. There are faint dragons dancing a branch in the upward position of this branch has no leaves but fruit this fruit is transparent and looks like a glass ball chin and quickly emerged from surprise and curiously surveyed the floating small tree understand how this small tree exists by combining the information in. Your mind fortunately, a lot of information about his own abilities inexplicably surged into his mind otherwise, I really can't understand how this small tree exists evolving to the heavens and creating a sacred tree, this is the name of this small tree the appearance of the holy tree of creation does not match its name, and it looks quite ordinary but nothing can be seen on the surface. It's ordinary now, just because it's still in its infancy the most magical thing about this small tree is that it constantly evolves with the injection of energy even he cannot imagine to what extent it can evolve in the future I can only vaguely feel that this small tree must be extraordinary and may possess immense power in the future, it's a martial soul, not even a martial soul, Chen and murmured to himself. 
The existence of this small tree is very strange it can be considered as its own martial soul, but it is different from conventional martial souls the biggest difference is that this martial soul does not directly provide him with power unlike plants like blue silver grass and thorn vine, which can be directly used as martial souls the holy tree of creation can only be endowed the leaves that grow on the first branch bear the fruit that is bestowed upon them the leaves are the weapons he can wield, and the fruits contain the power he can wield that is a giant dragon with the attribute of death, without a name, it all depends on how it is named the second branch has no leaves, but fruit without color grows, which is a semi-dot-finished product only when one injects enough energy into it will it truly grow after fully growing up, they will also provide themselves with a weapon and a kind of strength generally. Soul masters need to use soul rings to achieve breakthroughs. In the Do San era, it was usually soul spirits who provided soul rings but his situation is somewhat different. What is needed to break through is not a soul ring, but a sufficiently large amount of energy perhaps one soul ring can fill the energy, or it may take several when injecting, it is necessary to ensure that the energy attributes are the same and contain the energy attribute source the energy injected by other soul masters may not be usable we need energy that is more primitive and pure, but not limited to soul rings. The tree of creation is my martial soul, but it can bestow upon me. Multiple things similar to martial souls. Chenin made a summary and thoroughly understood his martial soul situation every leaf and fruit grown on the tree of creation can be considered a martial soul leaves are weapons, equivalent to weapon souls, while fruits are beast souls, and their form depends on one's own imagination after he fills the second fruit with energy, he can shape it through visualization it can be imagined as animal shapes such as lions, tigers, wolves, leopards, dragons, giant turtles, etc. It seems that one can still imagine a humanoid form, and the shape depends entirely on his imagination in short, full of unknowns, what exactly it looks like depends entirely on him if he wants to transform into a dragon, then imagine the appearance of the dragon. If he wants to transform into a tiger, then imagine the tiger. As for why the first fruit was a giant dragon, he was a bit puzzled he had no involvement in the formation of this first fruit, as if it had been randomly selected after sorting out his own situation, Chen En's mind was no longer chaotic and had a sense of smoothness looking at the fruit hanging from the bottom branch of the holy tree of creation. My heart twitched slightly the previously hidden grey dragon scales quickly spread onto the skin not only is it covered with dragon scales, but... His body has a tendency to directly transform into a giant dragon a powerful force surged within him, covering all his limbs and bones the sense of fullness of power grew stronger and stronger, making him unable to resist the urge to vent his anger Gu Yuna's room, she has already stood by the window and looked at Chen An's room although my current body is small, my gaze is very deep. With purple light shining she felt the dragon breath emanating from Chen An's room that force has a high level but its intensity is the opposite and does not match this situation is quite similar to hers, and her current bloodline strength is also limited even the oppression revealed was not comparable to that of Emperor Tian, but her bloodline level was far higher than that of Emperor Tian in the room, Chenin had disappeared and was replaced by a dragon a death dragon over two meters long with wings on its back. Shrouded in a deadly aura the death dragon looked its head left and right. Scrutinizing itself in disbelief, is this still me? The death dragon spoke in Chen An's voice this state made him feel very dreamy, and he actually transformed into a dragon now he feels as if he has endless power to squander it recklessly of course, this is just an illusion, even if you become a dragon, your power is limited it's just that he must be more powerful than his humanoid form Chen and tried to shrink his body size again. And his body length of over 2 meters was shortened to over 1 meter this is the limit, it can't be further. Reduced as for how big it can become, he's not good at trying it out now and it will tear the house apart Chen and tried to move his hands and feet, which was somewhat unnatural and not suitable for the dragon's body but the feeling of being my own hands and feet is very real, it's not a dream a few minutes later, Chen and was forced to withdraw from the dragon state the room was a bit messy, with many scratches on the ground which were caused by his feet when Chenin looked at the grey. Fruit on the tree of creation again, its energy had already dried up, originally, when I became a dragon state, it would consume the power stored in this fruit. Chenin made a judgment, and a sense of weakness followed, lacking much strength there is a feeling of being emptied, 
and the soul power in the body is basically depleted, with very little left. Today's if there are more than 10 monthly tickets per day, excluding the 6 tickets automatically gifted by the update system, an additional chapter will be added. If there are more than 50 recommended tickets, an additional chapter will be added. If there are more than 200 collected tickets, an additional chapter will be added. We hope everyone can provide more support and encourage each other. Yesterday, there was one monthly pass, over 20 recommended tickets, and over 40 collected tickets. There was no update today. Everyone can vote for more recommended tickets. Currently, it seems that this is the easiest way to meet the requirements for admission. You can also try monthly tickets. Today, a friend has already voted for two, but there are still eight tickets left.